Hello, I'm Archie Luxury and welcome to the program and today I'd like to talk about first world problems and uh, I gotta tell you now you know you look at the uh, the developed world and uh, we're talking you know the Western world and uh, it ain't all all fantastic and uh, what I mean by that is we've got a situation now where we've got a lot of first world problems first world problems like um, we don't really have any we don't have as many manufacturing or low sort of skill jobs like we did in the past and uh, what I mean by this is a lot of manufacturing in the developed world has gone to the developing or third world and uh, whereas 20, 30 years ago, there were entry-level jobs in manufacturing which you could go into. Those opportunities aren't there. We've become more of a service-type based economy. And uh, it's, it's done a lot of things. It's, it's, it's really, um, this is not a good thing. For example, I know in Australia there was a stage, and I'm sure it's the same in America and the United Kingdom, in the 70s, government bodies um, like the the telcos, Postmar PMG, Postmaster General, Telecom, uh, the phone companies had yearly intakes. This does not happen anymore. The public service, state and federal public service, used to have huge, huge intakes every year. They haven't done this for considerable amounts of time and what's happening is in in the uh, the Western world it is getting a lot more nasty it's hard to it's harder to secure full-time employment there's a lot more casual and uh, shift type work that's coming up part-time casual uh, there's a lot of contract type work and uh, this this is what's happening in the developing world and it's certainly not the same place as the early 70s there's things that have improved but there's things that have gotten worse a lot of big companies in the city used to have pools of typists now that's not such a, a big thing the other change in the the developing sorry the other change in the developed world is that in the 1970s, once a woman got married, she left the workforce. Then it was once she had a child, she left the workforce. And now, the, uh, the developed world itself has become so expensive that you really need two income families. So, whilst I don't want to get into the debate on sexism or whether women should have the right to work, if you've got half the workforce continually dropping out, and it creates new opportunities for new people to come in whereas if those people aren't dropping out it makes it a lot lot harder and uh, the, the interesting thing in the developed world I've got a house that I live in is from the 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 mid 1970s and uh, this house itself it's uh, so mid mid 1970s lower middle class house three bedroom carport um, kitchen, bathroom, one kitchen, one bathroom, one toilet and the interesting thing is each room has a, a light and a PowerPoint and that's it. There's, it's, it's, it's amazing. The, the average home now <clears throat> has so many electronic devices to plug in. There's computers, there's laptops, there's phone chargers there's radios, there's all sorts of things that um, didn't really, you didn't have so many, many years ago. So the standard of living has technically risen, if you think that is, that is success and being rich is the, the uh, accumulation of uh, devices. But to actually pay for them, these devices have come down in price but now you sort of need two incomes to, uh, to live a reasonable life in the Western world, developed world. And 
it's it's a very very you know the 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 Western world doesn't have all the answers. There's a lot of negatives here. We've got a lot of disenfranchised youths who don't have the opportunities that used to exist, and uh, we're we're in a lot of change at the moment. We're in a change where traditional retail retail was never a good payer, but it was a job. It's now being bombarded with uh, online shopping. Now, I, 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 I wholly support online shopping. Don't, 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 don't get me wrong. But what I'm saying is those opportunities for an entry-level job seem to be evaporating. And uh, the, the, the Western world itself there has got a lot of disenfranchised people. And a lot of the behaviours... One interesting thing is I was talking to a chap a while ago and he said oh companies in the 1960s and 70s had a much better ethos they were more ethical they were better companies and I, I said to him I said no I think you're wrong I said what happened in the 1970s like for example we look at now a lot of companies offshore in the 1960s and 70s it wasn't economically viable to offshore. Phone lines were very expensive. If you had a phone line to India, it would cost you a fortune. Now, the technology has allowed these companies to implement these cost savings. And it's not so much a question of the morals of these companies has changed, it's that the technology allows them to be um, absolutely ruthless when it comes to um, to running their business and um, th this is what's happening a lot of um, I was working for a big American company huge American company which had a lot of control systems and they've basically I remember working in the office and I was doing an IT type role and just talking to staff in the office whenever possible invoicing any office tasks that could be sent to the Bangalore, Bangla, the Indian Centre, you were encouraged to do that, and uh, this is this is how the modern corporations are running things, and uh, it, it's quite a it's quite a sad thing. I mean, I I kind of um, you look at it, they look like they've got a a, uh, a local presence, but they try and do as much as possible in the developing world. And I think really the, the, the really sad thing is is that the opportunities that used to be in existence have evaporated for a lot of people. And even though a lot of these roles weren't fantastic or these jobs weren't fantastic, they were a, were a, leg, they were a foot in the door and they led on to things. Whereas if you're getting rid of those opportunities, these people are finding it a lot harder. And... Um, the, the, the cost of living in, in the developed world is certainly not not uh, shrinking. And um, the, the hours to, to, to survive in the Western world, to have a family, to have a family, to raise some children is quite an expensive thing. And uh, it's, 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 for most people, it's a two-income, two-income equation. And uh, it's certainly not like 1960s America middle-class America where the father worked, the mum stayed at home, took care of the kids. <clears throat> and uh, if only we could go back to such times. Only If only we could go back to some such times. I mean, the women wanted independence and they really wanted to work, but Jesus Christ, once they, they are in the workforce, I think they've suddenly realised, hey, it's not the, the, uh, the oracle that they thought it was. And... Um, it, it's it, it's quite an interesting development. What is happening in the Western world, and it's getting nasty. It's getting mean. It's getting nasty, and um, all sorts of things are happening. Governments themselves, there. I mean, it's getting politically impossible to increase taxes. So what do they do? What do they do? They can't increase taxes on income taxes. So they have a lot of nasty nasty things fines red light cameras they have they have been increasing the taxes on tobacco they uh governments are addicted to poker machine revenue 
That's right. They're addicted to poker machine revenue because that money is easy, easy to come in. And governments are also starting to do nasty things. They, um, they look at publicly owned assets and they look at selling them off. They look at um, privatising services out. And uh, this, is, this is really quite a nasty. The society in the developed world is turning nasty. And um, it's just these little things. This is, this is how it happens. Little by little, the Western world is losing its gloss. And uh, the funny thing is, you know, the, the developing and the, and the third world look up to the Western world as the oracle and as, as the solution, when really there's so much lacking in the Western world. It's, um, it's not really the be-all and end-all answer. And uh, I, I, th I think the reality is, is that um, the world we're living in, it's, it's, getting, it's getting harder and nastier. And uh, you can see why the population is falling in, in, in the, the Western world, because it's so expensive to be a lower middle class family, husband, wife, and two children. It is so expensive to, ch to, to achieve that. And a lot of people don't want to achieve it anymore. That's not what they live for. That's, um, they're not interested in that. And uh, this, this, this is how the world is really changing. And it's, it, 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 it's, it's a savage thing. It's, it's almost being having two children, uh, raising a family is becoming a luxury. And, you know, it, it, it's one of these sad developments. And it, 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 it's kind of, it's how we're progressing, if you call this progress. And uh, it's just so many things in society. If you want to be Mr. Lower Middle Class, you move into a semi-skilled job, you want to move up the ladder, a lot more hours are expected from you. You've got to put a lot more time in. You have to, um, cont you know, you've really got to, they want your, your, they want to get their daily grind out of you. And it, 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 it's turning nasty. It is a nasty world. Things are getting bad. Things are getting worse. And um, what is the answer? You know, I think sometimes if we just need to slow down a bit and look at the um, what is success, and this is the whole thing, is success um, making huge amounts of profit? Is success having the beautiful five-bedroom home and two European automobiles? What is success? What is any of these things? And uh, success itself can be being content and being happy. I'm Archie Luxury, talking about first world problems. Tell me what you think. <laughs>